Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to watch yet another amazing episode of the Great Debaters Contest. It only gets better after every debate. This is the Great Debaters Contest Season 9. I am your host, Chris Boru. And I am Esperancia Kapanga. In today's debate, we have a contentious issue with the motion, religious education should be replaced with focused apprenticeship programs. Proposing this motion, we have Don Bosco High School. And in the opposition, our Nairobi School. <laughs> Proposal number one, you have three minutes. Hello. My name is Ayana Artsan, I'm from Don Bosco High School, secondary school. I'm here to strongly propose the motion that states religious education should be replaced with focused apprenticeship programs. Now, apprenticeship is the position of an apprentice. Apprentice is a person who is learning a trade from a skilled employer, having agreed to work for a fixed period at a low wage. That's according to Oxford Dictionary. Religious education is an education in a, second, in a school which places a strong emphasis on the beliefs associated with a particular education. This is according to Collins Dictionary. According to researchers Lysang and Godo Schwartz, the International Literacy Survey at IALS in 18 countries was discovered that skill-based training was more efficient in job markets than the knowledge tagged religious education in people aged between 16 to 29 years old. National Employment Authority Kenya says that graduates from vocational training are more employable than those in theory oriented degree programs. Now, vocational training is like a training where you're, it's hands on, on site, on job. That's what vocational is, if you guys don't know. And more theory oriented is more when you're told and you just keep it in your brain, you study it. But at the same time, it's not, it's not you're not getting any skills off of it. What's the goodness about apprenticeship? You earn while learning. There's no debt. Those graduating from universities could face debt up to certain amounts of numbers that can be paid sometimes. You have to take up loans. And um, apprenticeship is low or actually no cost. Between ages of 16, training and qualification cost will be 100% funded by government. You can learn religious education from online, where many universities like Zaid Academy and Islamic online universities offer the knowledge without any charge. Online Christian College, Lee University, Lee University offers online bachelor's and master's programs for its division of adult learning. <sighs> Now, according to Global Apprenticeship Network, the GAN members, companies, and partners are leading in the way of advocating for skills, business, and jobs for youth. Just like Dalai Lama said, when you talk, you only repeating what you know, but when you listen, you learn something new. Now, this is same as when we are learning religious education, we are learning what we know, but we're actually focusing on apprenticeship and learning something new. That's what apprenticeship, you're learning something new on there. It's like a doctor, for instance, someone is sick. The doctor knows the symptoms and everything, okay? But, this, the, but without apprenticeship, the doctor can actually like perform surgery on the person if they need surgery. If you are saying that religious education should not be replaced with apprenticeship, let's meet in the future, actually, where we will, um, um, fall, uh, say to each other, someone will say, I know God, but I don't have a job. <laughs> if we're going to seize the possibilities of our time, the courage to chart, to chart new paths, Barack Obama said, then the new path is apprenticeship. Pastor Poza, you have three minutes to make your case. Mark Twain once said, never let schooling come in your way of education. What does that mean? That basically means that we should never limit ourselves into acquiring one aspect of no well, we should never limit ourselves into acquiring one aspect of knowledge. Instead, we should focus on acquiring general knowledge before basing, before actually going to acquire skilled knowledge through apprenticeship. This enables us to realize SDG number four, quality education. 
GDC for SDG. Faustin Namboko from the Nairobi School, ready to oppose the motion that states religious education should, should be replaced by focused apprenticeship program. Religious education, according to the Oxford Dictionary, refers to the teaching of religion in teaching of religion in religion and its varied aspects, belief, doctrines, rituals, customs, and personal roles. The issue, the question in hand here is, we should replace. Replace actually means to take place off. According to sandwell.gov.uk, religious education actually enables the learners to have a positive attitude and respect to those who have a different opinion to their own. This brings about religious tolerance, something that you and I want for this country, something that we want for this, something that we want for this continent. That brings upon unity, and with unity, we can attain economic growth. That is SDG number eight, decent work and economic growth. Isn't that what you want for our country? Isn't that what you want for our continent, our globe? Also, according to Sandwell, the GOV.UK also, religious education enables the learners to have reasoned and informed judgment about religion, moral issues, with reference to the principles of religion, thereby developing confidence in their own values. This actually inculcates moral to our society. It has been there since ages. We want to do away with religious education? That's a big no. The Constitution of Kenya, Class 5, Section 19, under the curriculum, Cap 211, Kenya funds into religious education in terms of material, etc. If we scrap religious education out of the curriculum, we are actually going against our own constitution. That is insane to me, if you ask me. Let us not be radicalized by people who are actually trying to perpetuate apprenticeship in exchange of religious education, something that has been there and it is inculcating moral values, united, unity, religious tolerance. This is what we want for our economy. This is what we want for our continent. This is what we want for our globe. If we do not realize that, we are facing consequences. Thank you. Second proposal, you have three minutes for cross-examination. Uh, no, Paul J. Mayer said, once said that productivity is not an accident, but is, it is as a result of, commit, of commitment to excellence and intelligent thinking. So the person, who thought of, the person who thought of replacing religious education with focused apprenticeship is, in, is an intelligent thinker. So we Africans, we Kenyans have to think as intelligent thinkers. Let's start with me, let's start with you, all of us. We'll be replacing We'll be replacing religious education with focused apprenticeship. Not because we don't want to learn religious education. You said that we want to replace religious education. We're not replacing it totally, but we're going to learn it at a specific time. We have time at home, but our country is facing a lot of problems that we need to curb now. There is hunger, there is poverty, there is unemployment. So if we are not going to replace religious education in the curriculum. We're only going to replace it in the high school level because you cannot teach a form one student how to how to be a pilot how to be a doctor because his mind is not yet developed so we're not saying we're going to replace an, an uh, religious education with focused apprenticeship at an early age we're going to replace it at a high level where the kids have and have gained a lot of knowledge so that they can continue I, Najima Abdul Hakim from Don Bosco Secondary School, strongly propose the motion which states religious education should be replaced with focused apprenticeship. Moving on, giving apprentice apprenticeship gives aspiring professionals the aspiring professionals the real world experience they need to get the edge in the job market and will and they and they will and they will show employers that you can hit the ground running. So why not replace religious education with such an extraordinary opportunity? Apprenticeship has a basic idea of earn while you learn. Within the minimum wage of an apprentice is 3.70 euros per hour. Just imagine 3.7 euros per hour and others earn significantly more. So if you do your cal calculations correct, it's going to add up to 170 euros weekly. 170 euros weekly as stated by the Babington Research Agency. 
moving on, those graduating from university, as stated before, will be will could as well be faced with student de student debts up to thirty thousand euros. That's no joke. Thirty thousand euros. And depending on the type of the course they take. So if they're taking a course, a higher course, they'll be paying more than 30,000. But look, the ones who embarked on apprenticeship programs won't be facing tuition fees or debts while they finish. But instead, they'll be a step ahead. They'll be a step ahead because the employer will be paying them, will be paying them for, this, for, for their qualification they need instead. On top of that, 90% of the apprentices have said that their work, has work skills had improved rapidly, and that is no fluke. As Albert Einstein once said, an intelligent fool can make a big difference, can make a big difference, but if you, it takes a touch of genius and a lot of courage like my teammates to move on the, on the opposite direction. So that is why I, viv this vividly explains why I propose a motion which states religious education should be, re should be replaced with focused apprenticeship. Thank you. Second opposer, you have three minutes for cross-examination. First off, I'd like to start by saying Ramadan Karim to our lovely Muslim sisters, the proposers. I'd like us to just discuss a little bit. They look respectable. They look dignified. You all look intelligent, lovely. I love that. But what is the principle behind this? How long have you been attending madrasa? How long have you been attending madrasa? We're able to understand that the principality, the morality that is being advocated by Islam and other religions is evidence. Sean Omondi from the Nairobi School strongly proposing the motion religious education should be replaced by <laughs> something so ridiculous, something I cannot even dare think about, focused apprenticeship. Let's just think about it. The United States, under the Fitzgerald Act of 1961, in their constitution, enacted focused apprenticeship. Let us think about it. Let us think about what the United States has become today. The KKK, the Ku Klux Klan, a far-right movement, began because there is no morality. We all know what the KKK stands for. They stand for racism, white supremacy. We have the far-right Vox party in Spain, according to the Guardian, that is, clear, that is winning the election. Let us just think about it. What do these people stand for? Non-equality, that is against SDG number 10. What we are here to fight for? What we are here to stand for? Are we able to replace such an invaluable asset? According to Alive CRE Book 4, we learn about ethics. We learn about creating a holistic professional, but focusing on focused apprenticeship will enable us to create just a professional. One with no morals, no dignity, no intelligence, and is obviously will go and undertake malpractices in their profession. Do we want that? In Kenya, we recently had the story of the doctor who wrongly operated on a patient. Do you want more of these instances to happen? Honestly, we do not want them to happen. We need to think about what religious education puts on the table. I'll bring you to the statistics behind the mass shootings in the United States that have occurred. Well, they adopted focused apprenticeship, but I guess the moral aspect is lacking. So in January, we had 22 mass shootings last year, according to the bbcnews.com. In February, we had 14 mass shootings. In March, we had 13, and the list goes on and on and on to December, where we had 13 and November 27. Think about it. All these people dying in these places that have adopted this is because they lack morality. Apart from that, religious education also focuses on curbing other problems that the world has. For example, we are learning about, in theory, we learn about work and self-employment. In Christian approaches to work, leisure. You're able to understand how a good Christian can be able to create empo employment for themselves. Islam advocates morality and help for the poor in the pillars of Islam. Am I, am I wrong? Zakat. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I'm not wrong. We should think about this. We should review it. And we should not replace such an invaluable asset known as religious education. Thank you.
the proposers have been asked, do they prefer to have an immoral but skillful society or a moral but unskillful society? The opposers have been asked to explain the relationship between the Ku Klux Klan and religion. <laughs> Proposer number three, you have three minutes to respond. Do I prefer an immoral, skillful society or a moral and skillful society? Guess what? I prefer a moral, skillful society. When you look at the motion, religious education should be replaced with focus apprenticeship programs. There is no one that says religious education should not be learned. As earlier stated, there is primary school, secondary school. At primary school, there is where the child's mind is so fresh. Then why not put religious education in primary school, then finish it there and come high school apprenticeship, killing two birds with the same stone. The opponent said, we give zakah. Yeah, we give zakah. But we give zakah to the people who do not have any option. We don't give zakah to lazy people. We don't give zakah to people who do not work hard for themselves. We give zakah to people who you see they cannot work for themselves. And you talked about the Kill Kicks Kian in the 60s. Those were a group of racist people who were claiming their action was based on Christianity, but it was just a lie. And get your statistics right. America, it's in, yeah, there's high level of immorality in America, but there's also low level, there's low level of apprenticeship. You say there's high level of apprenticeship, but immorality is there. But we see five, lower than 5% of Americans do apprenticeship. So I don't know where you ba you're basing your facts. Mary Oliver says, the body is a lion of courage a special thing on earth. And that's why I courageously, I courageously stand in front of you, supporting the motions that says religious education should be replaced with focused apprenticeship programs. Why? Let, let's get down to facts. In America, you should listen to this attentively. In America, there are 9.3 million people who are unemployed, while there are more than 4.8 million job opportunities. Workers claim that these people that they want to, um, the, the employed people lack the skills and experience to man the new machines and new processes. Guess what's the solution for unemployment that they got? The European style apprenticeship. Another example in Germany. The German Institute of Employment says that brand companies like Daimler and Bosch are not only flourishing, productive, but also adapted to their clim local climate zone. Why? This is because 60% of their students focus on apprenticeship, while in America, as we earlier said, less than 5% focus on apprenticeship, while more of them are obsessed with college. The National Authority Development states that they've created more than one million job opportunities. Well, few of them are being occupied. Why? This is because they're unskilled people. And I wish I could tell this to my brother. He studied seven plus years in university, and now he sits with his degree at home. While the tailor just next door, in, in form two, um, focused on apprenticeship, and now he has his own car and home. Oh, poor brother of mine. Thank you. Sadu Pouza, you have three minutes to respond to your question. Well, I'll first start by answering the question that was posed to us of the relation between KKK and uh, religion. Number one, KKK arose in 1963 again, and it arose due to a vacuum of morality, presence of individualism, and their values against all religious systems on, we have today. Their symbol, after all, is a burning cross. Now, uh, the third opposer talked about uh, America, and let me tell you something. In California, the legal system is based on apprenticeship and education. Kim Kardashian herself, a famous celebrity, wants to, start, wants to become a lawyer through apprenticeship. Now, I'm Wangi Dalton, here to oppose this motion that states religious education should be replaced with focused apprenticeship programs. Now, as my preceding speaker has said, that be cautious when a naked man gives you his shirt. Now, you want to adopt these Western systems, forgetting that you're Africans. And let me tell you something. Apprenticeship used to be there in Africa, yes. But let us look at the religious education and the good uh, effects that it has brought to us based on SDG4 of quality education. Now, looking at religion from 
excluding religion from the education that we have and replacing it with um, apprenticeship is like killing a goose that lays the golden egg. You know what that does? The meat may be sweet, yes, but you're forgetting that when the goose is alive, you're benefiting more. Now, let me tell you something. According to BBC, uh, there's brain drain, and currently, 20,000 Nigerians are working in the USA, and 300 Ethiopians are working as physicians in Chicago. Now, Africa loses 20,000 academics, and this costs us $4 billion to replace them with expatriates from the West. Now, how does this relate with what I'm talking about? With religious education, you know that you're trained to work and benefit your own country, you know? It's like a mother and son relationship that you're taken to school, that in her later years, you shall be helping her. And Africa is the mother of us. We should never forget that. And with religion, we know that I am supposed to learn and work. And that is why when you graduate, you're given that right to read and write. And let me tell you, the US has done this, the US has done that. It is not our work to mimic them, we are not mimes. Now let me tell you, to the opposers who want to adopt all Western cultures, let me tell you, the best way to remain poor is to pretend to be rich. Thank you. Proposers, you have one minute to make a final submission. Well, let me tell you, due to the Westernization, that's how you could be speaking through th this microphone. I wonder sometimes why I see the tablets and the phones that we use are made by a 15-year-old in China. But when I look at a 15-year-old in Kenya, you ask them, what are you talented in? I can play Temple Run and PlayStation. These are the people who are holding our future. These are the people who will change Kenya to a better future. We talk about 20, Vision 2030, sustainable uh, development goals, while we are letting such good opportunities slip by. Seriously, open your eyes and hearts and mind, and let's embrace this opportunity where we should, we should strongly support the motion that says religious education should be replaced with focused apprenticeship. And for those who are wondering my name, I'm Khadija Hussain from Don Bosco Secondary School. Thank you. Opposers, you have one minute to make a final submission. We have so far had this and that about religious education against apprenticeship. But I'd like to tell you one thing. Kenya set the Millennium Development Goals. Look at religious education and the steps it is taking to achieve these Millennium Development Goals. We learn about combating HIV in CRE, IRE, I believe. We learn about combating poverty in both in all religions. We learn about all this. Then we learn about the Sustainable Development Goals, Quality Education, SDG4. Religious education helps achieve this by creating a morally upright person, a holistic professional. And that is what we are interested in today. And that is why religious education should not be replaced. I believe you all agree with me when I say religious education is irreplaceable, or don't you? To Don Bosco, uh, first speaker, well done uh, with the definition of terms and all that, uh, that you're saying that, you know, your fact that religion can be learned at a later time and even online and the likes. Good validated points, that one I noted. So well in for you. Najma as well, uh, I think you dwelt more on clarifying the motion, which is good. But don't take too much time clarifying because almost two minutes of your time was in the clarification on your stand for the motion. Apprenticeship prepares applicants, yes, and earning cash, and those kind of points were very good positive points for your team as well. Khadija, I think you stand out for me, for your team. You, st you stood out for me because you felt you came out as a person who had mastered uh, the point and your angle of the debate. Powerful speaker, very passionate. However, you gave examples of the American and German examples. You also want to validate them by giving the source, okay? To both teams, first of all, your outstanding speakers, and I wish you well. I will speak of two people that stood out for me. Um, Ayan, Artan, you remind me of myself every time I stand on a platform like that, I get scared. And someone once told me, courage is not the absence of fear. 
is going through it even when you're afraid. And I saw you do that. You know, you acknowledge I'm scared, this is stage fright, but you went through it and I applaud you for that. Let's give her a round of applause for that. That's confidence right there, that's courage. And on the other side, I want to acknowledge Sean, you're a great speaker and you, I could see a lot of confidence and you are composed and passionate and uh, you had quite a great start appealing to our emotions. To both teams, great speakers, great job. Dalton Munga, you convinced me. I love your composure and the way you just have the information and the points. I listened to you from the beginning to the end and I love the way you have presented. That was quite commendable. Hadija, seriously, you carry the team. You, I mean, you carry the message in the team. You are very convincing, very good on stage. And the quote on America, there is unemployment, yes, but people do not qualify to be employed. Although you did not tell us where you got that information from clearly, but then the message was still driven home. That is quite commendable on your team. So from our table here, we are pleased with that kind of presentation. That was good. Now to the results of this debate. Nairobi School, the judges awarded you 69.5%. Let's appreciate them. John Bosco Secondary School, you earned yourself. 69.5%, it's a tie. Let's appreciate them too. Congratulations to the two schools for putting equally great effort in this debate. We'd like to appreciate each and every person who's been able to make this show a reality. From the principals to the patrons and the students of each and every participating school. Remember, if you didn't see it on the Great Debates Contest, then it was not debated. I've been your host, Chris Boru. And I am Esperancia Kapanga. See you in the next episode.